Good morning, young explorers. How are you today? It's kind of a cloudy day, but I decided that today's going to be a great day no matter what. And Sadie here is ready to hear a story. I hope you are too. Um, we've been talking about the different forms of water in some of our other books. And since spring is here and we see lots of changing weather and tons of clouds up in the sky today, I found a book with the title Clouds. And so let's take a peek and see what it has to say about clouds. Are you ready? Okay. There, I think you can see that better. It says, look up clouds. They float in the sky above lakes and seas, gracefully billowing in the breeze. You see any clouds in the sky today that might look something like this? Clouds dapple the skies above country lanes and city streets. They drift over and under high mountain peaks. When can you see clouds? Almost every day. You can see them in the morning and in the afternoon. You can see them at sunrise and sunset, glowing gold and pink or rosy red, purple, orange, or blue. Peekaboo, you can even see clouds at night playing hide and seek with the moon and stars. Cloud collection. What are clouds made of? What do you think? Shout it out. Yep, you're right, water. They are made of millions of very tiny water droplets or bits of frozen water called ice crystals that float together in the sky. Down here it says raindrops are made of water droplets. Have you ever tried catching raindrops on your tongue. Maybe that's something you can do when you go outside today. Go out in the rain, put on your rain boots and your take your umbrella and see if you can catch a raindrop on your tongue. Clouds come in many different sizes and shapes. Here are three main clouds. One is called a cirrus cloud. Can you say cirrus? It looks like a wispy white brush stroke of your paintbrush. If you were to take a paintbrush and just kind of go like this, it would look like a cirrus cloud right here. The second kind of cloud is called a stratus cloud, and they look like a fuzzy gray blanket stretched across the sky. And the third type of cloud is called a cumulus cloud, and it's like a fluffy ball of cotton. So when you look out the window after the story, see if you can find a wispy cirrus cloud a gray fuzzy stratus cloud or a fluffy white cottony cumulus cloud. I'll put that a little closer so you can see the different types. All right. Drip, drop. Hear that D-R? Drip, drop. Clouds bring the rain that all plants and animals need to live. Flowers and frogs, trees and tigers all need rain. But what happens when the water droplets in a cloud bump into each other and stick together? When they become so heavy that they float in the sky, they fall down to earth as raindrops. When it's cold enough, clouds can bring snow. Snow starts out as ice crystals in a cloud, and as the crystals fall through the sky, they stick together and make snowflakes. One kind of cloud piles up high in the sky, towering like a giant castle. These clouds create storms with pouring rain, wild winds, lightning, and thunder. Flash, crash. Boom! 
These are cumulonimbus clouds, and they are also called thunderheads. If you were an eagle, you could fly through a cloud and feel wetness on your feathers. But you don't have to fly to feel a cloud. You can walk through one kind of cloud. What kind of cloud could you actually walk through? Have you thought about that? I heard somebody say it. You said fog, didn't you? Yeah? You can walk through one kind and it's called fog. Fog hangs low over land or water. So if you're walking through fog, you're kind of walking through a cloud. This says cool clouds. Whether you're on the ground looking up at clouds or in an airplane looking down at them, clouds are fascinating to watch. Here are some mysterious looking clouds from around the world. Here's a bubble shaped cloud. Here is a saucer shaped cloud over this mountain peak. This is a cloud that has lots of different colors and it's called a rainbow cloud. And here one is called the morning glory. It's an enormous roll like cloud that only forms over Australia. Look at that. And sometimes light passes through a cloud and it forms a glowing circle around the moon called a moon dog. Let me put those closer so you can see all the different types. When high winds blow, clouds sweep swiftly through the sky, changing shapes as they go. Other times, clouds seem as still as statues, but if you keep looking, you'll see them change shape. Clouds are always moving and changing. If you could look at Earth from space, you would see that there are always clouds floating somewhere over our planet. During the day, clouds block the sun's heat, helping the Earth stay cool. At night, clouds act like a blanket, helping Earth to stay warm. Thanks, clouds. Clouds bring us the rain we need to live. They fill the sky above us with beauty. How boring the sky would be without them. Be a cloud watcher. Anyone can be a cloud watcher. All you have to do is look up. So here are some ideas for you today, especially if it rains. Let's see what they say. It says, lie on your back, get comfortable, and gaze at the sky. Be patient. Take the time to really watch. Look for big clouds, little clouds, fat clouds, and skinny clouds. Notice if clouds are moving fast or slow. Can you draw some of the cloud shapes you see? There's an idea for you. Go outside with a pencil and paper or some white paint and draw the clouds. What do you see? If you watch clouds closely, you can see all kinds of things in them. What shapes do you see in these cloud pictures? Look here, young explorers. Look at these shapes. What do you see here? Yep, I do too. How about this one over here? How about this one? Ah, that's kind of easy to see, isn't it? Ooh, I like this one the best, I think. And then this one. Do you see that? I agree. It looks like a whale. And that's the end of our story. So, something you can do today. Look out the window or go outside and check out the clouds. What kinds of clouds do you see? Do you remember the three types? Let's find that page again. The first one was a wispy looking paintbrush kind of cloud. What was that called? Yep, you got it. That is a cirrus cloud. But if you see something that's like a big fuzzy gray blanket stretched across the sky, what would that one be called? You got it. It would be stratus. And if you saw a really big fluffy white cloud like a big ball of cotton, that would be cumulus. Good for you. You were really listening to this story. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. 
And I hope that when you got up this morning, you got up and you stretched and you said, today is going to be a great day. And then after the day is done, when you go to bed tonight and put your head on the pillow, I would like you to think about one special thing that really went well today. And I'd like you to tell somebody what went well today, what was really great. All right. And hey, let me know. Give me a text at my on my phone number that I gave your parents or send me uh, a picture of, of something that you drew or noticed in the sky today or even tell me what type of cloud was up there today. I would love to hear from you and I'd also love to hear you sing that water cycle song. Remember? Let's practice it one more time so that somebody can send me um, a video of you doing it. Here we go. Water travels in a cycle, yes it does. Water travels in a cycle, yes it does. It goes up, evaporation makes a cloud, that's condensation, comes back down, precipitation, yes it does. Excellent. So happy to see you today. Have a wonderful, wonderful afternoon and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.